Okay. Let's see. Hey! Hello, <laughs> Caroline! Thank you so much for joining. How are you today? <laughs> yes, I am doing fabulous. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Thank you so Good. much. <laughs> I'm Good. super excited to have you here. Yeah, um, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for creating the space for us to gather. Yeah, perfect. I'm actually such a, like, I'm such a big fan of face reflexology, and I have already done this for, like, a year, two years, and that's why it's so good to have your course in the bundle. I'm really excited so people can oh, learn a bit more about this. <laughs> yes, and learn it now. Don't wait till yes. 20 <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah true like it prevents also like right it's so anti like natural way for to anti-aging tools basically right yeah yeah yes all, all the right tools we have in our back pocket yeah if you wanted like introduce you quickly maybe so like people people will get to know you that would be great yes so I'm Amber Bodily and yeah this will be great to give you a little introduction to better understand the course um, the face rejuvenation course I am a foot zonologist practitioner. I know a lot of people go, what in the world is that? <laughs> is this, uh, yeah, yeah, even me, I was like, <laughs> what's that? What, what is that? Yeah. Um, foot zonology is the, um, foot, uh, a foot zonologist practitioner accesses the signal systems on the feet to help rebalance the body, rejuvenate the body, detox the body, and raise the life energy in the body so that your body can heal. It also analyzes the current condition. So I actually got into this because my oldest son was extremely ill and I was looking for ways to help his body heal and I just felt like I was I was running down dark roads or banging my head against the wall and so I started open up to alternative things and I found foot zoning and fast forward Long story, really short. Uh, my son was diagnosed with autism, liver failure, lung disorder, psoriasis, eczema. But through foot zoning, he was able to completely heal. So it got me on this like, oh my gosh, I, I need to know more about this. Yeah. And I had my second son and he had brain tumors and we decided to do um, things naturally. Anyways, and so that's when I knew like, I need to learn how to do this. So I went on this journey of learning and it's, it's been a really wild ride. Um, of course, I went on to learn more about aromatherapy, aromatherapy. So I got my master's in aromatherapy, nutrition, oh, wow, really? yeah. an herbologist. So yeah, because I always want to make sure I'm empowered with the knowledge and the information I need to take care of myself and my children. Well, there is a part of foot zoning um, that you learn, it actually an added treatment that's called face zoning, where you access the signal systems on the face yeah. to reset and renew the inner organs on the body. So, wow. um, yeah. so I'm actually a face, a face zonologist practitioner and also an instructor. So I created this course so more people can have access and the wisdom of knowing how to take care of their face, keep them young, but more than that, empower them to look at the face to be able to see what is going on in my body. Because as you know, yeah. taking <laughs> so care of the inside yeah. makes a big difference on the outside. Yeah. So, um, so anyways, that was my motivation for creating the course so more people can have access and have these tools and information but without having to go through the rigorous certification of becoming a face owner or foot owner. And a lot of us want to look younger. We want to know how to take care of our skin. We want to know how to take care of our organs. So that is I know. And people always want it like instantly. Like they don't want to put in the work. So yeah. I think this is so awesome because it's something they can do by themselves. Like yeah. there's no like extra cost involved. Like for example, like treatments people do all the time, yeah. all the time. And it's something natural. And also like I just, I prefer much more to like to like cure the the cause instead of just like the symptoms. So when people have like like what what you just said, like you can actually tell from your face sometimes like something yeah. wrong within your body. I think that's so fascinating. Yeah. So being able to have the information in the face rejuvenation course, you can look at your own face. Or for me with my little ones, I can look at their face and go, bam. You know, I immediately know what's going on, so I can find and go to the remedy instead of just like what you said, put a band aid over it. Yeah, but yeah. of course, for women, it makes us look so much younger <laughs> and beautiful and bright, and we age gracefully. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. So some of the things in the course um, that I go over is, there. well, there's many, many wonderful things, lots of information, but we talk about the analysis. Like when you look at your face, 
what is your face telling you? How yeah. is your liver functioning? <laughs> what are your lungs doing, right? Yeah. How's my digestion, you know? Mm -hmm. And so you learn the whole analysis part of it, but then you also learn the treatment. So what do you do? Where are the signals on the face and how do you treat those signals so you can rejuvenate your inner organs and actually make a shift from the inside out? Yeah. And of course, in this course, I talk about all the things that help support your like circulation, your lymph, your hormones, how to make your skin glow, what are the certain herbs and teas, and what are the essential oils that you want to use on hand. Just going through it and making it really easy, but very powerful with this knowledge on knowing how to take care of your face. And I love it because all you need is your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> now to work on your face. Make sure you wash them and they're clean, yeah. clean hands, clean face. Yeah. But it's so powerful. You know, you can yeah. do it in the morning in front of the mirror. You could do it while you're at the stoplight. You know, you can do it while you're waiting in line at the DMV. I mean, I don't know, but that's why it's so easy, but yet so powerful. But it also gives you a window into your health. Because if yeah. you're waking up every morning going, why are my cheeks swollen? Why are they breaking out? You know, yeah. why, why do they seem like they're a little discolored from other places? This is telling you there's something going on with your lungs. Yeah. Okay. So then you're like, wait, what am I breathing? Um, you know, do I have bacteria in my lungs? Is there congestion? Is there certain foods that are affecting our lungs that are, you know, causing our lungs not, not to function at their highest vibration? So then you can go on this journey of navigating how to better care for your health. You know, because as we know, what we eat makes a massive, you know, either positive or negative shift in the yeah. body. And yeah. so if you had some dairy ice cream the night before and you wake up in the morning with these, you know, swollen areas, you can immediately go, okay, yeah. that doesn't work for me. You know? Was that like a reason for you, like when you got into all of this, like to go plant-based or was it like, like, did yes. you just, ah, okay. Absolutely, 100%. So the first yeah. time I thought I saw this foot zoner, She immediately told me the foods we got to cut out, um, obviously any kind of processed foods, and of course, um, going plant-based to load the body up with more nutrients. And to me, it just made sense. It rang true. And yeah. so I just thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. And I noticed a massive shift in my body, my child's body, my husband's body. And I thought, there's something to this. I got to keep going on. And so when this happened 12, 13 years ago, 12, 13, um, wow, you're like yeah, the first so, one. <laughs> right, so I would go to the library, and I would Xerox copy recipes, Yeah. <laughs> you know, and information yeah. where now we have everything at our fingertips. Yeah. Um, you know, so many different blogs, so much information. Right now, things are so easy to just tap into that plant-based whole foods So true. World. It has never been easier to go vegan, actually. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So what happened for me the very first time with this appointment, I ended up coming home, and I took a garbage bag. <laughs> and I just put it in the middle of her, like a like a big, huge, 30-gallon black, you know, black garbage bag. And I just started opening the cupboards and just throwing every way, everything yeah. away that wasn't going to serve me or my child. And I, I, to be honest, I was sobbing. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm throwing away all this But that's food. such a good way to protect yourself from, because I mean, yeah, yeah it's torture. Like when you first go plant-based, right. you don't want to have all these things that you try to avoid like next to you. <laughs> So. Totally. And you're like, I just need to clear this out. I need yeah. to you know, move this so it's not a temptation. And if I'm going to do this, I got to do this. I can't kind of yeah. do it because my son was extremely ill and I had tried everything before. And I thought, well, you yeah. know, what? I'm going to do this. And because my son couldn't really communicate, um, couldn't communicate at all. He wasn't making eye contact. And I thought, I don't want to have something in the house where he sees and wants. And then yeah. it's like torture for me because he's screaming to have it. But I'm like, you yeah. can't have it. He doesn't understand. Exactly. So that's where it's like, we're, we're clean in house. And my husband was so supportive. He's like, you know what, babe, if, if you're going for this, let's do this. Oh, um, wow. That's so amazing. I really yeah. did have some support from my, my immediate home. Now, exterior yeah. home, like yes. people yeah. beauty, it was a little challenging, you know, you yeah. make some big positive shifts and it's, and it is challenging. But it was obviously you, worth it. You were thriving. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And the benefits, I mean, you would just see them week after week, month after month. And you're like, yeah. how can I go back? You know, exactly. Especially for skin. Like when I, when I just cut a dairy, that was like the biggest change for my skin. I had, I and like really had like bad acne and like would, would try every kind of like treatments and things. And like in Germany, you go to like the dermatologist and they give you these like harsh, like really harsh like creams that made my skin so irritated and red and yeah like going plant-based I mean was definitely like 
the biggest change in skin. Huge sure. shift. And what's great is a lot of us, we, we want to beautify our faces, right? We want to look younger. And we have to realize that the foods that we're putting in our body can be contributing to our quick aging yeah. or can be contributing to making us look younger. So yeah. food is a huge part. And for me, in this moment of making all these connections, the first time I had my, my son foot zoned, she told me, she just looked at his feet. She goes, you know he's highly allergic to dairy. I'm like, what? I lost pediatricians, <laughs> doctors, specialists. Yeah. He said, no, you know, he, he's going to break his bones if he doesn't have dairy. And I thought, oh, oh and crazy. she said something that was so profound to me. She said, well, why not just take him off it for two weeks? And I thought, oh, that's a novel idea. Why don't yeah. I just do that? And I noticed a huge... Um, clearing of his face within the yeah. next two weeks where his jaws Let's were always amazing. swollen exactly his yeah. eyes were always swollen you know he, he would drool out of his side of his mouth also for other reasons but the lips everything was just he looked like the stay puff marshmallow man and then it's like after taking out that dairy i thought oh, there you are so yeah. way back oh, then wow. i thought there is definitely a connection with the face what is going on in the body yeah totally yeah and so down um, the road as i you know, fast forward as I learned foot zoning, became a practitioner and then instructor, and then I learned face zoning. I thought, oh yeah, we are con all connected in yes. so many ways. Yeah, and we are what we eat. Yeah, so true. So we do like maybe like a, um, maybe you show like few, few simple tools people could do um, yeah. at home or like the biggest takeaways from the course, like something. Yes we could do yeah. now together <laughs> yes absolutely so what I'll do is um, there's so many things I can share but one of them especially right now is lungs um, I'll show you something to just brighten your lungs because also if you think about it if we can get more oxygen in our lungs we get more oxygenated blood which brings more vitality to all our organs which also helps balance hormones so doing something quick and easy that also we hold a lot of emotions in our lungs yes so if we can just learn to kind of reset and raise the vibration in our lungs or clear bacteria congestion chemicals out of our lungs we can immediately go from here to like oh I have life flowing back in me so the techniques that I that I teach in the course super easy super profound and remember when you're working on the face you are actually making a shift inside the body. So, of course, when you're working on your face, always make sure you have a clean face and clean hands. Yeah. Um, but something really simple for working the lungs is you're going to go attend and take your fingertips. You want to do things um, symmetrical. Okay. So you're going to go right in the corner of your eyes, mm -hmm. and you're going to come down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do these little circles and come down. And guys, everyone who's watching, let's do this together. <laughs> Watch yeah, your let's do it together. <laughs> and done. Do these little circles, and then you're going to go down a mm -hmm. little bit on the side of the nose. And mm -hmm. then you're going to go down a little bit more. All the way until you hit the side of the nostril. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you're going to go back up, but now you're going to go just a little bit over. Okay. And you're going to do these little rolls and come down. Now, if you find something funny or there's swelling, you can stay here a little longer and mm -hmm. you can maybe put a little bit more pressure mm -hmm. and then come down a little bit more and then come down a little bit more mm -hmm. and then come down a little bit more and then go back up. Now, you can spend as long as you want doing this. I do recommend um, not going so fast where you kind of miss it, but also mm -hmm. having good intent. Like, you know, deep, slow mm -hmm. breathing. You're doing this to reset and renew your body. And each time you're going to go back up to the top under your eyes and slowly move down as you're moving to the outside of the face. Mm -hmm. Okay. And go back up. What is like, uh, so this whole part is the lungs, right? Yes. So to be exact, okay. from the corner of the eyes to come down halfway the nose and over, these are your bronchial tubes. And the okay. actual lung part is right here. Uh -huh. So we're actually doing the bronchial tubes and the lungs. And what you want to do is you want to go all the way over to the corner of your eyes and come down. Then you know you've covered that whole area. Okay. 
But once you've done this, then you want to go from the outside and move in. So once you break everything up, coming down and out, you know, okay. using your fingertips, yeah. then you're going to come from the outside and come in so that we, we pull everything out of the lungs. So okay. if you've got debris in your lungs, so once we've gone from the inside out, now we're going to go from the outside, mm -hmm. pull down. Right. Think about you're just renewing your lungs. You're getting better circulation <laughs> to your lungs. So good. Right. So you're clearing the lymphatic system in your lungs. Yep. Mm -hmm. And do little circles. And you guard and you're on your own face. Go for it. <laughs> you want to go to, um, you know, go soft and gentle. Do soft and gentle. The kilns that are going to reset. Okay, and remember you yeah. want to go to the you know, the bottom of the nose. Okay, yeah, yeah. I wanted to move lower. Yeah, and then and then once you come, you know, you make your way back in to where we started. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And I just realized. Once, so we'll do one no. last one on basically at the side of the bridge of the nose. And if you kind of dig in right here, you're sore right on the side of the nostrils. This area is the thymus, okay? And if you're familiar okay. with the yep. thymus, some of you might be, it's your immune system. This is where your body produces white blood cells. This is where you're in your lymphatic system. And so if you're sick or you're feeling a little low on your immunity, just take those fingers right there. It might look a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> that you just kind of roll it. Yeah, right? You're like, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Right, on the side nose. So some people, they break out right here. So you yeah. might want to go, hmm, is there bacteria in my body that's affecting my immune system? So interesting. Or I, I, actually, I literally had like a big pimple right here like two weeks ago. It was huge. Okay. So right, so like, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Right there would actually be part of the lungs. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. maybe something you breathed in. It could have been yeah. a bacteria that was in the lungs, the body's trying to get out. Or there was some type of food that, you know, affected the lungs. Because there are some foods like nuts, like raw nuts are, are amazing for the body. But there are some people, depending on their liver condition, where they have a hard time processing nuts, and it can show yeah. up in the lungs because it stagnates the lymph. So and there, there's like all these windows of information into our health from our face. Now, in the face rejuvenation course, I have a drawing. I give you specifics. We go over the technique we go over the areas of the face where it's at another real quick one would to be the cranial the things up here on the forehead yeah. yeah but how many of us are stressed out how many of us are like oh i've got so much i know going on. i Balancing. swear every time when i feel like stress i literally take like a this is a towel but i would take like even if yeah. i'm in a restaurant like a napkin and just like rest yeah. on my on my thumb and i really press so hard yeah. here and it, it like hurts like crazy but if you hold it yes oh. So yes, good. that's it. So right actually above the eye, eyebrow are like your limbic system, your connections band, um, yeah. you know, things that have to do with what you're seeing, hearing, and feeling. And, then, and as you go up in this, this area, these are the cranial nerves. This is why when people are got a lot going on, you know, they get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is, 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 is my video free? Oh, I think they connect. No, no. Okay, there we go. Is it my connection? Okay. No. But okay, something good. really quick is like what just shared, Carolyn, um, Caroline, is you could do these little circles above the eyebrows, like especially when you're asked, you've got a lot going on, or you just want to relax the mind yep. and body. Now, and yep. like what you did, mm -hmm. you can even like go deep, deep with those two fingers if you want to. Yep. Super helpful. And you might find like a sore spot. It's like, oh. And each little spot that you move out has to deal with like is that you're seeing the things that you're hearing. So let's say, yeah. for example, you don't like the things that you're seeing. You know, you don't like the things you're seeing at work. You don't like the things you're seeing at the way your life is panning out. This can be really sore. Or let's say you're not liking what you're hearing. 
whether, you know, somebody is saying some unkind things, it can yeah. negatively affect the body and you'll feel yeah. it in here because it goes yeah. right up into the brain and the cranial yeah. um, and the limbic system and connection. So, and honey, Grace you want to spend... Just to, responding oh, yeah. to Grace. Yes. So the, uh, her e-course is in the bundle. So you find all these yeah. tools we're doing here. I'll cover that all in of the them in the bundle. Yes. So after you work this area and kind of just calm the mental body, the emotional body, what you can do is off the eyebrow, do little circles and move upwards, upwards yep. to the hairline. And you can even go a little bit into the hairline. And it just you want you want to raise that life energy, and you want to relax those cranial nerves. Hmm. I'm going to do this on my boyfriend tonight. He's going to be happy. <laughs> oh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. And remember, think about, okay, this is doing wonders for my face and me relaxing. But, but also, you're hitting these signals that are connected to your, your inner organs, to your yes. body. So you're that giving your, your inner organs a little facelift. You're giving and your actually, organs when a it hurts, little because reset. Paula, Paula is saying, um, and her again, forehead hurts when it's all hurts. in the. I go through it, and I also. Um, so when it hurts, it's a good sign, right? It's like you're having tension. Yeah. You're yeah, and also something can be there. So we're working the cranial nerves, and again, each time we go up, we go a little over, a little over, a little over as we go up and out. So okay. the cranial nerves. Um, there's a lot of things that go on there. One is stress, okay, and then they get tense. When we're dehydrated, our nerves get on edge. Also, yeah. chemicals, MSG, excitotoxins, um, things that we breathe in can sit on our cranial nerves and cause a problem. Heavy yeah. metals can sit there. So if you're finding a painful spot, stay there a little while. Try to work it out. It'll get a little bit better, and if not, think about things that support the cranial nerves. And again, this is what's great about the course, because I talk about specific areas in the body and then what foods and herbs that you to support those systems and what things can be burdening it. So for example, you're working on the cranial nerves now, you find a tender spot. Things that support the cranial nerves would be like spirulina. Any kind of blue-green algaes would be helpful. Um, you can also so wild this whole blue so this this doesn't even this doesn't just help like the face and everything, but also things like chronic like uh, migraines or like yes. little Ill, right? Okay, yes. perfect. So it's, so it's not even it's not even about looking younger, yeah. but it's just about so much more. Yeah. So then. yeah, or like dealing with the tight jaw or ear infections. Yeah, or here I hold so much in their teeth. Yeah. yeah. Or yes. they're all. Oh, I'm actually grinding out. my teeth at night. Oh yeah. So there, yeah, there's I'm a brain like this. Where you work the jaw, okay. Work the jaw and move in there. So talk about like if your jaw is really tight. Think about getting a really simple thing to try would be try to get more magnesium in your body. You know, because that will mm -hmm. help just relieve that tension. But also think, what is stressing me out, <laughs> or what yeah. you <laughs> might be, yeah, <laughs> or or yeah. you might be in complete bliss, but what in your environment? Do you have a router right next to you? Are, are there too many EMFs? Because that will cause that, that jaw to be tense. Um, are there yeah. too many, you know, chemicals in the food you're eating that are creating this tension in the body? So start to be a detective and start asking some really good questions when you're working on your face going, wow, this is sore, or my jaw is sore. Why would it be sore? I'm a firm yeah. believer of Ask and you shall receive. So start self questions. Why is this sore here? Okay, this is my job. Yeah, I'm so then, yeah. intense here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and so what I love about this, like you can go over this 10, 15 times. Same with any spot. You can. Yeah. Um, also in this course, I talk about ways to drink. Like a little sinus infection, you're a little stuffy. There are some special exercises you can do to drain the sinuses, the whole ear, nose, and throat. If you feel like a particular area of the skin is a little saggy, needs a little lift, there is definitely some treatments that you can do. That you can do. And I also talk about um, aromatherapy, certain carrier oils and essential oils to use on specific areas of the face or depending on what's going on. So I also teach a massage 
when you make mix oils and then you actually do a certain type of massage to get the lymph flowing, get the circulation going. And then of course we talked about- I love that. I had a look at this already. The face massage is so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's yeah. so amazing. Yeah. And, it, and especially like if you're wanting to feel energized, you can do the face massage with, with specific oils to energize. Or if you want it to where you sleep better, there's some essential oil like while you're doing this before bed or in your um, nighttime routine, or if you want to put it in your morning routine, you know, there's definitely some things you can do to make sure it keeps you energized throughout the day. Right? What's, your, what's your favorite essential oil you would use um, before going to sleep to relax? Great question. One thing I would do is Melissa. Melissa okay. is also known as lemon, and it calms yeah. the nerves. It balances the hormones. Um, super helpful. Oh, calming great. the adrenals. Another one, I'll just throw one more in there, is myrrh. Myrrh literally like embalms your skin. It like keeps it really youthful. So when that is sitting on your face at night, it's like making you younger while you sleep. So okay. and myrrh is an myrrh is an essential oil that it's really sticky. It's not like your other essential oils where it's just easy to drop. So a lot of myrrh will come like with a little stick in it or it'll take a long time to get a drop. But but that drop is a very very powerful so you can even drop a lemon balm or it, it would in usually in essential oils you'll find it as melissa but put a drop, drop of melissa a drop of and mix it with a carrier or john's wort would be really good because it calms the nerves again gets the mind oh i have that one okay. centered yeah yeah okay. and then or or you can use like rose hip which is loaded with vitamin c and anti Oxidants and carrier oil that is amazing for the body and skin. Um, yep. Those would be some simple ones, and if, <laughs> I can go on. But jojoba or <laughs> jojoba oil that has natural plant. All I really want to work on your collagen. That is also another really good one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So those, oh, those ones would be my like, top ones. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, I think we covered lots of interesting things. Um, yeah. uh, and you don't want to you don't want to share all your secrets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Because and there is so much there. Someone mentioned that they can't get their <laughs> myrrh bottle open. You might want to just and push really hard, or maybe you get a little set of pliers. Because also too, if you left left your bottle open for a while, it, the the essential oil can evaporate and actually kind of like the residue can come around that that the top part of the bar and so when you screw it on it has a little residue and it can get sticky just work at it awesome. as somebody who's really strong right, work at it break that seal yeah the information is priceless and it's something that you learn obviously you can use for the rest of your life and who doesn't really and you can even use it for basic. others right you can use but it for your looking younger you can even, yeah. yes yeah absolutely Absolutely. Who doesn't like saying, Mom, sit in the chair. Let me work on your face. You know, super. Yeah, helpful. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Or, or you can teach somebody. Yeah. They're feeling a little congested because they've got allergies. You know, you could say, hey, try this real quick. You can, you can share some quick tools and remedy, remedies to help somebody out with a specific situation. Yeah. yeah. So and what I love is that you really, yeah, you just need your hands. You can do it in your own time, anywhere, literally yeah. anytime. And it's also nice for yourself to like show your body a little bit of love and appreciation. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, no. Yes. One of my one Wonderful. of my favorite courses from the bundle for sure. Yeah. Yay. When I saw actually when I saw it was in the bundle, I was like yay because I I have like an amazing facialist in London, which she also does face like prefixology, and yeah. every time I go to her, I just feel like oh, this was just the best like six, 90 minutes ever and people like keep asking like how like you know what it is and how they can do it themselves so this is like perfect um yes so yeah and I, and I love how you said you just feel so amazing because you are accessing these signals on the face to reset the body so in a facelift yes amazing you look younger absolutely but you are literally resetting your inner organs by hitting these signal systems on the face. So not only do you look good, but you feel good and you're making a positive shift in the body. So it's just like face massage on steroids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank yeah. you so much for you are being so today. Um, yeah. 
if there are any yeah no i think we 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 covered quite a lot um perfect so i'm going to save this on my feed for everyone who missed this um and uh, yeah make sure you get the bundle and check out the e-course it's called face rejuvenation um and uh yeah check out uh, amber's account i i already had a look it's so inspiring and yeah i really appreciate you uh sharing this today um, yeah, yeah no problem thank you for for having me and, and allowing me to share and i tell you the bundle is absolutely amazing there's so many incredible incredible courses but even if you were just getting it for one course it's totally worth it yeah and you have yeah. so many other courses people i think some people keep thinking this is like too good to be true which i don't even blame right. for if i would see this deal i would be like yeah that's like that's like that's a catch or something <laughs> but i explained yesterday right. how it works and how from like from like so many people collaborating together, like more units are sold, so they don't lose any money. It's kind of like just more units are sold, so you still make a lot, but people have the chance to get it for this insane discount. Um, so it's a real win-win for everyone, and it's yeah. also, and also, I think, so good for people to to discover like new courses they wouldn't necessarily have bought themselves before, but then they like step into it and then discover like new passions or new things and learn. Um, so yeah. I'm like such such a fan. Yeah, oh, and the, this awareness of how much amazing information is out there. Exactly. I think the connection <laughs> is leaving us. All right. So there it goes for a second. <laughs> okay, perfect. But um yeah, thank you so much and yeah, I hope we can do this. You're welcome, time again. thank you. Perfect. Okay, yeah, have a lovely day. <laughs> Yeah, you too. Bye. <laughs> Bye.